Welcome back. So we're back in phase gen um, and um, we're very much ready to um, get our um, 3D mesh of um, the pictures we obtained in the previous video. Now one thing I want to say is um, the default background for phase gen is actually um, let's see is actually brown now if you're trying to use get a reference image for a an african-american character or a black character you want to make sure that um, the background is something that's not um, about this ab about the same color as your character because you find it difficult to um, use that as a reference when you're modeling and if you want to fix that in face gen you go to the view tab click click on background color and you can um, play around with these um, sliders here red green and blue to get exactly what you want so let's get out of that and go right here to the photo fit tab you can see right here the directions you want to make sure you read its directions and um, you can see it tells you what you need is the front picture which is required and the profile images which are optional and you go ahead and hit the next button you're right here at the um, uh, where you have to select your images for the front you click on load and then you have to browse over to where you saved your images now um, just give me a sec here let me find this out or let me um, browse and here he is how Kelly frontal there it is um, this is what I was talking about in the previous video when I said you can have um, the character looking both ways so I didn't really need to flip it over but I did silly me there's my side shot and when you have put um, shots you want you hit next it takes you right here where you see these green markers and the idea is to arrange the markers on the face as you have them in this um, reference picture to the side so I'm just gonna go ahead and do that I don't think it matters um, what marker you put where as long as you have the markers at the same um, you have a marker at the same spot that you do in this picture So you just go ahead and um, do that. And um, after, when you um, have something you're satisfied with, you hit next, it's gonna blow the picture up, give you a larger size, so you can uh, go ahead and um, tweak these markers. Make sure you have them in the right place. Okay, this is supposed to be for the um, cheekbone. And there we go. Put it in the middle right here. This is the corner of the mouth. This is the other corner of the mouth. Okay, this goes right here. Hit next. It takes you to the side shot. You want to do the same. Make sure you have the markers where this picture has them. Now you could do this without um, a side shot, but um, for these purposes, um, it's always good to. Um, I prefer getting a side picture because um, for the side um, reference picture, it really helps with um, the depth of the cheek. Um, bone, um, how far the nose extends from the face and the lips. It's really important for that. And here we go, another blown up picture of the side shot. And another reason this picture might not be that good enough for to use um, directly, as you can see the mouth is a little bit open 
which is not that much of a problem but it um, is a pain in the ass when you're modeling and hit next now it will take you to this screen where you have to um, where you can start the process um, go ahead and read this um, the instructions right here it just tells you um, how long it takes about two to five minutes per photo um, it tells you it can be cancelled at any time try not to move the calculation win window um, avoid covering the calculation window with another window or you get errors or, or incorrect results and um, let's see that's about it you have the option to preserve ha facial hair in um, the detailed texture which I like to do when um, I'm doing male characters and you can use the side detailed texture from the side I'm d use the detailed texture from the side photos which I usually don't like doing when um, I have two different um, pictures of the same person of course from front and side I don't know if that makes any sense so I'm just going to head and hit start now and pause this and uh, start again when um, it begins so I'll be right back and here we go not bad huh you can see this is a pretty good um, mesh a representation of the picture we had it's not too bad um, as you can see it has the watermark on the forehead that's because this is a demo version which is good enough for what we're using and uh, at times um, as you can see let me pull up the side shot from the front this is very good and uh, not too bad from the side either but at times you can see the shape of the forehead here doesn't really wouldn't really match our side shot which uh, let me try to pull it up right now just give me a sec here I don't know if you can see this well it kinda does but at times um, for some other for somebody like this where her forehead is a little bit um, what's the word not slanting <laughs> as best I can come up with um, this wouldn't work um, luckily f uh, face gen also has some features right here on the shape um, menu where you can go ahead and change let me, let's go to the forehead the shape of the forehead so you can tilt it forward or tilt it back because face generally recognizes the picture from the top of the eyebrows to the bottom of the face which I guess is good enough but um, this is good enough so we're just gonna work with this and you can also do other things like um, if the cheekbone if you didn't recognize the cheekbone from the picture you can see how flat this is and let me take a look at my picture again the cheekbone is not as flat right here so I like to move it forward it's one of the first ones let's see cheekbone shallow pronounced and you can move it a little bit forward as much as you want so this looks good another we have what we need I just want to also add that there are also other things you can um, change here the nose shape of the nose um, and the face and all of that for that you just have to go go on YouTube and check up other um, face gen videos but um, here we have what we need so first thing you want to do is position the mesh make sure it's looking directly at you or I want to say at the camera and now that you have this go to file save image uh, we're gonna save it as a JPEG again and I'll just say um, RKF R Kelly front save that um, now you want to um, move it to this um, to a perspective view make sure try not to move it um, up or down as you turn it around because you want it to have the same um, vertical um, alignment and this should be good for a perspective view 
go to file, save image, RFP for R. Kelly perspective, and then we're going to tilt it to the side. Let's line it up and make sure we have a, uh, let's um, turn it around and make sure we have a perfectly side um, shot. Take it up a little bit, file, save image, RKF. RKS for Arkelly side and now we have the pictures we want let me go there they are so now you have them um, just go ahead and um, get out of um, face gen we're done for, for now I'm just gonna save it And um, I'm gonna stop this video right here and um, when I start again we should um, be back in Photoshop oh my god see you then